Ice is for peasants is a phrase that has stuck with me since I first heard it around a campfire almost 10 years ago when I saw my very first mobile refrigerator. A lot has changed since then, and IceCo is helping make mobile refrigeration much more accessible. Welcome to the channel, I'm Justin B. McBride, and you're watching This Just In with Justin. Justin today is the IceCo APL55 portable refrigerator. For disclosure, IceCo did send me this unit to review and to make this video about it. No money changed hands and IceCo has no input on this video's production, nor do they get to preview it before I post it. And as always, all opinions are my own. The APL55 is a 55 liter fridge with a flex zone compartment that sets it apart from all of the other 55 liter refrigerators. The stainless steel shell, metal handles, metal door latches, and overall rugged design make this a pretty attractive fridge that strays from IceCo's typical form follows function design. So what is a flexible dual zone fridge? Well. Simply put, the APL55 has a removable divider that automatically switches between a dual and single zone fridge. With a cooling range of negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, there is enough refrigeration range to carry frozen foods on one side and standard refrigerated food on the other. While the divider is in place, the fridge will automatically provide two zone settings, allowing you to select which half is your freezer and which half is your fridge side, your not as cold, cold side. Uh, removing the partition will adjust the settings in the menu and only provide a single zone setting, keeping an even temperature across both halves, even though it becomes one half, you know what I'm saying? Unlike other IceCo refrigerators, the lid on the APL55 only opens from one side and it is a front access fridge. Generally speaking, I am not a fan of front access, but now that I have the Gladiator and have been reaching into the refrigerator over a tailgate up on top of the deck system, kind of works for me. The APL55 is the first ice coat, and for that matter, the first fridge that I know of that has a soft closing lid. Pop it open and it will gradually close, preventing the slamming of fingers or even heads when you're looking into the depths of the fridge. The disadvantage is that in a tight space, like the back of the truck with the camper closed, I can only open the fridge fully if I pull it out of the camper. Sliding the fridge would be fine if I had a fridge slide, but I don't yet. And for a 55 liter fridge, this is a large fridge for a good reason though. The APL55 boasts a nearly two and a half inch thick insulated wall. This wall increases efficiency so well that I didn't even worry about my anchor powering this for almost an entire week out on the trails. But like I was saying, it is a big fridge at just a few ounces under 55 pounds before you even put food and drinks in it and measuring 30 inches long by 19 inches wide and 19 inches tall, the APL55 is a big one. It's visibly larger than my Dometic 55 and even bigger than IceCo's VL60 Pro S, which gives you five more interior liters but the payoffs are the flexible dual zone and that increased efficiency. The large interior lights and even the exterior light are excellent features, especially when compared to the tiny interior lamp on all of the Dometics. Uh, and if Darth Vader were buying a fridge, I think he'd buy this one. Uh, the all black design and even like the button layout just gives me some Sith vibes. That's why I set up the colors the way I did today. And Iceco says that all these thermal vents are weatherproof. Um, I don't think they are, but they say they are. So that's a good thing, considering the amount of dust that I have seen go inside of these. Like you can, you can see it, you can look into it. But they say it's dustproof and weatherproof and whatever else. So we'll believe them, I suppose. The handles are rugged and they don't feel weak under the substantial weight of this fridge. They also spring back to their flat resting spot. So you don't have to worry about leaving a handle up and then closing your tailgate on it, denting your tailgate or damaging your fridge. As for ports, this thing is littered with ports on both the front and the back. All of the weather seals of the ports feel rugged and don't feel like they will break away after a single season of use. On the back, it has a DC input, which is likely the input you will primarily use. And it has two USB out ports, which I doubt you ever touch unless you're really in a bind. 
Next to both of these ports is a large flat area to attach a magnetic battery. Iceco didn't send it to me, but they make a 250 watt hour battery that you can magnetically attach right to that flat spot. I think that's pretty rad for powering the fridge if your main battery dies or if you need to haul the refrigerator to a camp table or anywhere outside of your vehicle. It would have been nice to include that in this video, but they didn't send it to me. So we're just gonna use our imaginations. Sorry. On the front are more ports with a uh, another DC input, an AC input, and two more USB outlets. They really like their USB ports on this fridge. The button layout on the front is easy enough to follow. There are six buttons from left to right, max slash eco mode, ambient light settings, settings, temperature up, temperature down, and power. The menu is digital and easy to navigate. I honestly didn't even download the app until I got home from my first trip out with this. You can manage it just fine on the fridge menu. I don't know if it even needs an app really, but when adjusting larger temperature increments, holding down the plus or minus button will adjust the temperature in four degree increments, which I think is an odd choice for a base 10 society. Plus it also moves really fast. It just cooks through them. So I don't really use it. I'd rather just single press one at a time. Uh, you can adjust the display's brightness through the settings menu. And uh, all you gotta do is look for a little sun button and then using the plus or minus button, adjust the screen's brightness. Iceco has also equipped the APL55 with three levels of battery protection. In the settings menu, they are in the lightning bolt menu. Um, on a 12 volt system, low will cut off at 9.6 volts and cut on at 10.9 volts. Medium will cut off at 10.4 volts and then cut on at 11.7 volts, while the highest protection will cut off at 11.1 volts and then on at 12.4 volts. Pro tip, if you're driving a modern vehicle with the auto start stop feature and not using an auxiliary battery to run the fridge, I recommend running it on the medium or low setting to keep your fridge powered while the car is running. Those smart alternators, they run at a smaller voltage or they output a smaller voltage. So it could trick this into thinking that your car is turned off. Make sure that if you are plugged into your vehicle's 12 volt port, it does not remain powered on after the ignition is turned off. This fridge will pull enough power to drain your starter battery. To know which side of the fridge you are setting up temperature on, Iceco has included these very tiny icons. One is a square and one is an upside down Utah. These shapes correspond with the negative interior space with the divider in place. The CCOP compressor works well. I had this fridge in some very dusty situations and it powered through all of it. Uh, and it can operate on a 40 degree tilt. So if you leave it hanging out like I did many times, it will continue cooking. Cooking? I was the one cooking. It will continue running. Uh, the compressor carries a five year warranty, which is good. That's, uh, that's amazing. However, all other parts have a one year warranty, leading me to what I don't like about this fridge. First, it should have a full factory warranty of five years. Mine even came with extra metal latches for the lid as if they expected them to break. Uh, so they push that five year warranty all over the website. It's got badges and everything everywhere. And then they hide that the parts and everything else are under a one year warranty in fine print. Kind of shady, that's how I feel. Uh, the black finish is a scratch and fingerprint magnet. Uh, just wiping dust off of it, scratched the finish. Uh, and that's not what we want when we're dealing with an adventure fridge. It should be rugged and continue to look great after hundreds of miles on trails. Speaking of abuse, after my first day on the trails with this fridge, I was surprised to find, it's on the other side, a large dent on the side of it. And all that was, that was my camp chairs that had just kind of bounced into it a few times. Just, I mean, a few times, probably a few hundred times running down the trail. For such a rugged looking fridge, I'm disappointed at the finish. I would love to see a cover offered similar to my Dometic. That way I know that my fridge is protected and even my gear, right? Gear bouncing into a metal fridge could damage other gear, so. Then there is the app. This one is weird. I downloaded the Iceco app and it was all in Chinese. So I went through the user manual and looked at the very last page and there it was. Iceco hired a third party to manage their app and it is simply called CarFridge. And it connects easily to the fridge but almost too easily 
No code was required, which opens the door for anybody to download the Car Fridge app and connect to your fridge and start messing with settings. I mentioned this on a Blue Eddy battery that I recently reviewed, and there needs to be just one extra step of Bluetooth security to prevent a mid camping trip prank. That being said, the app works well. I can sit in my office above the garage, connect to the fridge and adjust settings, check on how it's doing and bonus points because most of it's in English. So that's pretty good for an app that I need to use because I speak English. The lid has tie downs. Uh, I don't get this. We don't want to strap stuff to the top of our refrigerators, do we? I, I know I won't be strapping anything to the top of my lid, but I may be missing something here. Uh, what would you use these tie downs for? I don't get this. Uh, wouldn't these just strap the fridge and make it like unable to open? I don't know. I think these are our gimmick, their ornamentation to make this look more rugged. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? What would you strap to there? Maybe a cutting board? I really don't know. But then it's like, it's on the back side of the fridge. You just, I don't get these. They're not for me. The thing is, this fridge costs less than $900. It works well. It never once felt like it was really in my way while I was testing it. It did the job it should do. It kept food cold and accessible. However, as someone who owns the Dometic CFX355 IM, which is a poem to recite every time I say the name of it, I can't say that the Iceco APL55 has convinced me to leave my premium brand in favor of this. I like that I can cover my Dometic in a cover and save it from dents while improving efficiency. Uh, and I honestly, I like their app better. I like their ecosystem better. I think Dometic is more my brand. Um, however, I would like to get my hands on the cousin of the APL55, the VL Pro 60S. It seems to check more boxes for me and should meet my needs a little bit better, especially because it has that reversible lid. Uh, the thing is, when I reached out to Iceco asking that I could review that unit, they ghosted me. So who knows if I will ever be presented with that opportunity. Enough of that. There is a lot to love about the new APL55 from Iceco, and it is a valuable addition to the market, especially as the only dual zone that I know of in a 55 liter capacity. If you're in the market, I have dropped an affiliate link in the description. If my review helped you decide to pull the trigger on this fridge, I will make a very, very, very small commission uh, on that little sale. So uh, that's down there. However, if my review pushed you to my preferred Dometic 55 liter fridge, well, I get an even smaller commission from those, but that link is down there as well for you anyway. Uh, you likely need a good battery to go with your new fridge, and I have a few different videos you can check out, but this one, this one right here is a great unit and uh, the baby brother to the one that I carry with me on all of my trips right now. So I'll see you in that video.